when they start watching the vlog, people that want to vlog themselves will ask what kind of gear I have. After basically for like, I don't know, two weeks straight watched nothing but reviews for best uh, vlogging camera. And a couple of the attributes that I was specifically looking for was something that was gonna be very easy to get started. You know, I have zero photography background. So I wanted something that I could just essentially press record and have a very high quality uh, video as a result, even before having to edit. Really specific to being able to vlog and also just a lower price point that at the end of the day, if something, you know, if I dropped it or if it broke, I wouldn't be extremely heartbroken and, um, you know, I can just get another one. So there are some downsides to this camera, um, but for me, for what I was gonna use it for and ultimately so that I could get started on a daily vlog, this was the best choice for me, and that is the Canon SL2. And it comes in at an extremely affordable price point. I, I opted for the body only, and then I picked up some lenses, three lenses. Uh, the first lens I got is the one that you're looking, that, that's shooting me right now, it's the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter, the F 4.5 to 5.6. Really, whenever you're looking at lenses, what you're gonna want, and again, this is coming from a non-technical, no photography experience whatsoever. The, the higher the number, the more light you're gonna have to have to really deliver like a really nice, crisp uh, image. The lower the number, really the less light is needed to deliver that same sort of clarity. So, for example, this 50 millimeter lens there, uh, and basically, it has, so it's a 50 millimeter, um, I think F 1.8. So you really, it, it takes excellent pictures and video in very low light. Uh, this other lens is what they call like a pancake lens. It's very, very thin. It's a 24 millimeter F stop. I think it, the F stop is 2.8. <clears throat> so again, lower than this lens that you're looking through right now, which is my wide angle lens. <clears throat> but this one, again, is kind of that lower light lens that delivers a really good picture ultimately. And you know, so whenever I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos, I, I kind of researched like what three starter lenses should you have? these basic three uh, came up in the list. Another thing that's extremely necessary is kind of like a bendy uh, tripod. Um, a lot of reasons for that, but mainly, um, you know, you can kind of just bend it up and it stays. <clears throat> the downside is if your camera is too heavy, if you have like a bigger lens on it or something, this thing's, you know, liable to uh, kind of just knock over. I went for a non Joby Gorilla Pod. This was like a cheap version. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. Again, you get what you pay for. This thing's kind of um, falling apart. It does this thing where it'll, see if it'll, well, of course now it's not. There you go. <clears throat> it'll just pop out of socket, which is not ideal when you're trying to set up a shot. Um, so that kind of stinks. What I like about it is it's lightweight. It's very easy. It's compact. You can kind of shove it in a bag if you need to along with your lenses um, and kind of just, again, make it happen. This camera has this awesome flip screen. You can kind of point it in any direction that you want to so you can kind of, so I can kind of see and frame myself in the shot the way I want to before I get started. So it's really cool. It's, I mean, in my opinion and from what I sort of researched, really designed heavily for a vlogger, an intro vlogger. Um, so that's like the main gear. Once you get started buying vlogging gear, it's very difficult to keep from needing more. There's a bunch of other lenses that I really, really want. Uh, will I upgrade cameras? Probably, so some of the downsides of this camera are, um, you know, it only, it, it, the maximum it'll shoot frames per second, I think is 60. So if you're looking for that smooth slow-mo that um, my buddy Ryan Hanley likes to do a lot. You're really going to want something like in the 120 to 240 frames per second, which I think you get with like the Canon 80D or, um, you know, a lot of the Sony's. So that is the gear to get started. If you have questions, man, please give me a comment below. Don't forget to give this bad boy a thumbs up. Please feel free to reach out. Um, there is some other stuff, you know, other tripods, uh, extra batteries, all kinds of stuff uh, that we could get into. I just didn't really want to get into it here. Hope you have a wonderful day. 